it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a bleed line when you have a multicolor image that doesn't have the same color all the way around the edge. This will then allow you to create a contour cut line for Versawork so that your Roland BN20, when it cuts, will cut inside the edge of your design so that you avoid any white on the edge, okay? So this is a couple of steps. We're gonna make it as easy as possible. Um, the easiest way to do this is actually to do it in steps. So the first step we're going to do in Silhouette Studio, Silhouette Studio because it makes it extremely easy to uh, vectorize and also makes it extremely easy to make a um, an internal uh, bleed line, okay? So then we need to export to Adobe Illustrator if that is the software that you're using. If you're using Affinity, I have separate videos for that. If you have a file that has the same color all the way around the edge, like say black, or if you just wanna create a white edge around your entire design, you're gonna to wanna to, um, check out the video that I have posted at the top because that is a, a little bit of a different process, a little bit easier, okay? All right, so we are gonna start over in Silhouette Studio and then uh, this is just gonna take us just a few minutes. Once you get this process down, will be pretty quick and easy for you. I will tell you, you will need Silhouette Studio Business Edition to do this. The reason being you need to export as either an SVG or a PDF that is only um, available when you have the upgraded version of Business Edition. So that's a one-time um, paid upgrade. It's $99. You can have it on up to three computers and you won't need to continue to repurchase. It's just, you, and you get all of the features in Silhouette Studio. Definitely well worth it. Okay, so let's pop into Silhouette Studio. Um, before we bring our, our um, file in, I'm actually going to have you go down here to the gear in the right corner and just double check one thing. So if you go to uh, the preferences and then click import, please make sure that you have PNG Auto Trace selected. What that's going to do is it's going to auto trace or automatically vectorize your PNG when you bring it into Silhouette Studio. Now, if you have a JPEG, that's gonna be different, but the PNG when auto trace is selected, is it will be treated just like an SVG would. It has a transparent background, the cut line is right around the edge, okay? So if you have a JPEG, well, you'll have to trace um, and that's a different tutorial, which I guess I'll be also doing, okay? All right, so that's checked, click OK, and then we're just going to import the file by going to File, Open, and you're gonna find your file. So I have my files are down in this folder here, and we have a bunch of different files to choose from, but this one that I'm going to um, select You'll see when it opens in Silhouette Studio, it has a bunch of different colors around the edge. And what I mean by that is, um, you know, this one is brown and this is tan and this is peach. And they're, you know, so there's four different colors on the edge. So putting an offset to make a bleed is not going to work because the, the bleed would be all different colors. We need the bleed to be the color of the piece around. And since it's different colors, this is what we have now. The reason that auto trace is important when you bring it in is because you see this red line here. That's the cut line. It's automatically vectorized when brought in when you have that check there. And that's what we want. Then what we're, all we have to do is open up um, the offset tool, which is over here on the right hand side. It's a star with an offset star around it. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna select our design. And this time, typically when you click offset, you do offset, like outside. We're gonna do internal offset. And I want you to look closely when we do this um, because the offset line will go inside. So when I click internal offset, you now can see that I have two red lines, okay? You can adjust the offset distance. This is at 0.05 and that's actually pretty good. You wanna just make sure that when you create the internal offset that it doesn't change like the shape of your design because sometimes if the offset is too dramatic or not enough, um, it, it will actually change the shape. But you can see that even with the heart here and these letters, we would still have um, a, the cut. Nobody would ever know that we actually cut inside the design. All right, so then we're gonna click apply. And then before we move anything. You see how you have all these bounding boxes? That is the individual offset. We're just going to group that so that they all stay together. So up here on the side on the top toolbar is the group option. You can also get it by going to right click and um, the right click menu and group, but this will be easier. 
And now what I'm going to suggest that you do is actually change that line color for the simple reason that it will be easier to see um, when we move it over to Adobe. You don't have to do this, but it's just easier, I think. So I'm gonna change it to black, actually. Um, and then that way, we can move that into Adobe. Now, what you see here, we have this red cut line. That's the um, cut line that Silhouette Studio automatically put around there. We don't need that. That's actually not going to, um, we, well, well, we wanna just make sure that it doesn't print. So my suggestion to you is to actually select the full design, and I want you to keep an eye on this red cut line. I want you to change that. See how it's red right now? I want you to change that to transparent so that there's no chance that it could print on your Roland. Because remember, Roland only knows to print um, every color other than the contour cut line. So if that accidentally prints, and it only will if there's a weight to it, but um, anyway, we just wanna avoid that altogether. So my suggestion, as I said, is to just make sure that it's transparent. And we have changed it to transparent because now you can't see. All right, now we are ready to export this and then we can bring it directly into Illustrator for just one last step. So we'll do save as, save to hard drive. I'm gonna call this baby brother for AI and I'm gonna change the format to SVG. Remember, you will only have the SVG option if you have business edition, so make sure you grab that. All right, and I'll again, I'll link to that for you as well. Okay, so we'll click open. I already have one called that, but we'll say the same thing. And then we're gonna swap over into Illustrator. So we will go to file open and I've got my uh, baby brother for AI here. And when this opens, it always gives this warning and just click okay. Now, when this comes into Illustrator, we have these, this tab on the right-hand side. You wanna be in the Layers tab because that way you can control where you actually are. So you have two groups here. You have the internal offset, that's this one called group, and then you have the clip. The clip graphic is actually the image itself. We only want to select the uh, group, so we're gonna we're gonna unselect that, deselect I should say. We're only gonna select the um, layer. So you see how the layer has that blue, and you probably can't see. See how the, the layer, the group layer, has that blue box next to it because I hit the little target? That's what we have now here um, that's highlighted. So now that's the line that we wanna change to the contour cut line. So we'll go to Window, Swatch Library, Roland. If you haven't done the process to bring the Roland swatches over, make sure you go through that process first. You only need to do that one time. Sometimes it loses it out of Roland and you can easily re-add it, but you need to make sure you go through that process. And I, again, I have a video for that as well. So once you've got that in there, you've got your, your um, layer selected, you're just gonna click the contour cut. So if I highlight over, if I hover over, you can see this is the co contour cut, all right? And I'm gonna deselect so you can see that the only thing that is now the contour cut line is that internal offset we created. So what's going to happen when we file uh, save, whoops, nope, I wanted to file save as, sorry. I'm gonna save it as a PDF on my computer this time. I'm gonna change this to VersaWorks so we can remember which to open. And when we bring that into VersaWorks, what you're gonna see is that those dancing ants, the contour cut line is inside the edge of the design. So the full image will print, including the bleed, but the cut will be slightly inside of there, which is how we, what we did when we made the internal offset and then change that internal offset line to the cut contour line, okay? All right, so if you are brand new to uh, Roland VersaWorks, Adobe Illustrator, Silhouette Studio, I have lots of tutorials. I don't do a whole lot of videos on Silhouette Studio on YouTube. I reserve most of them for my premium content website, Silhouette U. So if you're interested um, and you're planning on using Silhouette Studio a lot, I would highly suggest you check out Silhouette U. I also offer one-on-one -on -one help and a whole lot more. So, um, and I have a coupon for you. So if you wanna add, um, click on that, you can definitely check it out. Otherwise, good luck making your contour cut lines. This should make it super fast and easy for you.